Well, welcome back everyone. This is my video two. Uh, my shades are uh, transition lenses, so that's why it looks like I'm wearing sunglasses. Uh, so, uh, my video, my first video got a, got a couple of comments, but the one I really want to focus on is of course one of my favorites, which is Hapkido. So Scotty, this video is pretty much for you and anyone else who I used to train with. Uh, Hapkido is a traditional martial art from uh, Korea. Yes, it is much, much older than Taekwondo. Uh, if you need to do your history, please do. Taekwondo is only like about 60 or 70 years old. It's a new art. It's one of the youngest uh, martial arts out there. But it takes, its key, it takes a lot of parts from different traditional Korean arts. And Hapkido is one of them, actually. So the similarities of training are actually pretty comfortable for those of us who are in Taekwondo. But there is one difference. The difference is something called nakbub. Uh, that's Korean for breakfall. Anybody who's done rolls or done breakfalls where someone's thrown you and you land, that is uh, pretty much half of the training right there. So uh, I'll just go through like the first week of uh, uh, each week actually of training. There's like okay, so I train five days a week. Um, I do morning training. That's a, a personal thing because I like to keep up on my conditioning, so I've uh, uh, pretty much uh, got my insanity videos, the insanity workouts, uh, and I use those in the morning, and then at night, I do my Hapkido training. Okay, so Monday. Uh, Monday is pretty much called Hyung Night. Uh, we call them forms, uh, but we do that, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, in my mind, there's a lot of Chinese influence in uh, the forms. It's really nice and I think my coach Joe would really enjoy uh, uh, seeing some of those. But I'll see if I can get a video of that later for him. Uh, Tuesday night is called Knockbub Night or, or Breakfall Night. We are rolling and uh, uh, breakfalling all night. We're also doing some uh, gymnastic stuff like we are doing, uh, <laughs> it's weird, we do uh, cartwheels, we do some round offs and we even do handsprings and some guys actually do some jumping flips. Uh, it's to keep up dexterity and boy is it a workout. It's hard on the body too, so it really uh, gets those leg muscles uh, going. Uh, Wednesday night? Oh, what is Wednesday night? I should know this by now. It should be uh, old school for me to know. Oh, Wednesday night's kicking night. Uh, a lot of Taekwondo guys who do Taekwondo kicks, yes, it's very similar. So I'm keeping up on my jump kicks and I'm learning a few new ones actually. Uh, Thursday night is sparring night. It's not sparring like your Taekwondo. It's not like kick punch and uh, stuff like that. We actually start like uh, uh, Joe would know very well. It's ju like judo. You actually have the uh, the gi or dobak, the uniform, and we actually start by holding on to each other, and then it's a pretty much a grappling, stand up grappling and throwing contest, which is really fun. It's a different take on sparring, but I really enjoy it. Okay, so Thursday that's sparring. Friday is just conditioning day. We just do a lot of different conditioning things. Uh, it'd be like sprints, push-ups, sit-ups, uh, a couple of uh, uh, plyometric uh, exercises, a whole bunch of different things. But that's pretty much a week in uh, Hapkido. If we ever have tournaments or anything, we should pretty much focus on like single or double or two things that we're going to compete in during the weeks. And that's how I got a gold medal in uh, the tournament for uh, Hyung or Forms. And they actually had me competing at a black belt level. So I thought that was pretty impressive. And it's one of those experiences I'll never forget. Okay, so that's my little video on Hapkido. If you want to know more, you can Google search it, search anything else. Uh, put in the comments below uh, whatever subjects you want for me to talk about, especially in Korea. Uh, we are uh, pretty much hitting a heat wave right now. And uh, it's still a uh, rainy season, so it's still very humid these days. In Minnesota, it's about the same humidity, but it's a little higher over here. Well, we're close to the ocean. That's what you'd expect. Okay, so that's my video for now. And uh, this is Jeremy uh, signing off from uh, the land of the morning calm, South Korea.